How many opportunities have you missed out on because you struggle to express yourself? If you feel like you're getting left behind in every area of your life, then you need to master the art of effective communication. Today, I'm going to share with you 10 secrets to be able to do just that. By the end of the video, you'll have a proven plan to become a more compelling and persuasive communicator, so make sure you watch the whole thing. Secret number one is to be aware of trending topics. If you're wondering how to be more talkative, you need to know a little bit about a lot of things. That's why you need to make an effort to stay up to date with current events. By doing so, you'll figure out how to always have something to talk about. To be aware of trending topics, visit reputable news websites and follow their social media accounts as well. When you're in the know, you'll have lots of ways to engage whoever you interact with. That way, making small talk will become much easier for you and you'll be able to relate to anybody much faster. On that note, I want to give you a word of caution. If you want to know how to be more likable during your interactions, stay away from sensitive subjects. Whatever you do, avoid discussing religion, politics, sex, and race, especially with someone you don't know well yet. You don't want to get into a heated debate about something controversial to see whose point of view is right or wrong. In order to get along well with others, try to be lighthearted and easygoing during your interactions. Secret number two is to keep doing novel things. Remember, a boring life leads to boring conversations. You can only talk about the same topics until it gets repetitive. That's why you need to make time to do more interesting things. My advice is for you to acquire new skills and have novel experiences on a regular basis. For example, you can read good books, play an instrument, or take up a new sport. You can also learn how to dance, take awesome pictures, or speak another language. The more knowledge and experiences you have, the more open-minded you'll become. You'll expand your perspective, and you'll be able to connect with people from different backgrounds much easier. Not only will this make you a high-value person, you'll also become more engaging to talk to. If you're wondering how to be more fun to hang out with, this is one of the best ways to do it. Secret number three is to think of what to say. In order to prevent awkward silences during your interactions, you need to do some preparation. This is especially true if you don't have a lot of experience socializing with others in general. If you want to know how to never run out of things to say, take the time to think of what you want to talk about. The same topics tend to come up in conversation over and over again anyway. That being said, I encourage you to come up with interesting ways to discuss different areas of your life. Prepare some stories regarding your work, your upbringing, places you've been to, events you've attended, and your interests. The more you do, the easier it'll be for you to figure out how to keep a conversation going. Remember, it's a lot easier to be present during your interactions when you know what to talk about and how to respond. If you're willing to, I highly recommend you record yourself telling your stories. That way, you can observe your delivery and hear how you sound. This will give you the necessary feedback to help you improve your communication skills. To help you out, I made a free cheat sheet that will show you how to approach and talk to anybody. You can download a free copy by going to socialconfidencemastery.com. That link is also available in the description below. Secret number four is to ask more open-ended questions. If your interactions in the past ever felt like an interview, there's a good chance you were asking closed-ended questions. These are questions that can be answered with one word. If you're wondering how to improve your communication skills, avoid doing this at all cost. My advice for you is to ask more open-ended questions instead. By doing so, you'll prompt whoever you're conversing with to share more. They have to explain themselves in greater detail, which will give you lots of information to work with. As a result, that could potentially trigger different topics that both of you can discuss. The more information you have to work with, the less quiet moments you're going to have during your interactions. Secret number five is to become a better listener. From what I've noticed, those who struggle socially tend to be too focused on what they're going to say next. They're so in their heads that they're actually not paying attention to the person they're speaking with. Remember, there's a reason why you have two ears and one mouth. If you want to know how to keep a conversation going, you have to practice being a good listener as well. Once you've taken the time to prepare your stories, you just have to let things go after that. The next time you talk to someone, put your phone away and really try to see where they're coming from. Lean forward to show interest and not in agreement to acknowledge what the other person is sharing. When you do, you'll improve your connection with everyone you interact with. They'll leave the interaction with a positive impression of you and they'll look forward to seeing you again. Secret number six is to share details about yourself. As mentioned before, don't just give one word answers when you're talking to someone. This makes it difficult for people to keep chatting with you because they don't have a whole lot to work with. In fact, this is a common issue that I see a lot with our clients in our social skills coaching program. 
Most of them have introverted personalities, work in tech, and tend to think analytically. They struggle socially simply because they lack awareness and experience interacting with people. That being said, if you want to know how to improve your communication skills, you have to be able to talk about yourself in a more interesting way. For example, let's say you're a software engineer and someone just asks you what you do for work. Instead of giving a short response, make an effort to share details about yourself. Go deeper, talk about what got you into your career and what you like about it. Leave out technical jargons and emphasize how things make you feel instead. Again, if you wanna become easier to talk to, remember to volunteer information about yourself. That way, whoever you're speaking with will have lots of opportunities to continue engaging with you. By the way, if you're tired of struggling socially and you want to learn more about our social skills coaching program, I'd love to connect with you. Book your free consultation today by going to socialconfidencemastery.com. That link is also available in the description below. Secret number seven is to do your best to relate. Remember, we like people who are similar to us. Familiarity builds comfort very quickly, so explore as many mutual interests as you can. When the person you're talking to shares something that they're passionate about, do your best to relate. You can either do it logically or emotionally. In this case, if you know a lot about the topic that's being discussed, mention your personal experiences as well. For example, let's say you and the person you're chatting with are both into fitness. Then, by all means, keep talking about that. Feel free to explore the subject even more. But what if that isn't the case? What if the person you're talking to says something that you're not familiar with? Let's say they're into photography and you know nothing about it. In that situation, try to relate emotionally. All you have to do is find out their motivation for why they do what they do. You can ask, what got you into that? That question will encourage the person you're speaking with to open up more. And then share something you did in the past that made you feel the exact same way as well. If you're not used to communicating in this manner, it will definitely require some practice. Remind yourself to be patient and just keep at it. Once you figure this out, you'll have no trouble relating to anybody you talk to. Secret number eight is to become more observant. If you want to be able to come up with things to talk about on the spot, train yourself to be more observant. You can do this by noticing what's happening around you and then create conversation topics based on what you see. To make this work, you have to stop filtering yourself all the time. Avoid ruminating so much so you can learn how to relax around people and then get good at making associations and just say the first thing that comes to mind. Again, to prevent any lull during your interactions, Use your environment to help you come up with topics to discuss with others. By doing so, you'll figure out how to be more talkative in any social situation. You'll be able to connect with more like-minded people and you'll have a vibrant social life. Secret number nine is to follow your curiosity. At the end of the day, we all have an innate desire to feel important. If you want to know how to improve your communication skills, make sure you follow your curiosity. The next time you're chatting with someone, ask yourself what you can learn from this person. You'll want to view yourself as a student. Connect with that sense of curiosity and keep the conversation going from that place. By doing so, you'll be able to think of follow-up questions to ask and related stories to share much easier. When you're genuinely curious about people, you'll build rapport with them very quickly. As a result, you'll become more memorable to others and you'll stand out in a good way. Secret number 10 is a practice in smaller settings. From what I've noticed, those who struggle socially lack awareness and experience interacting with others. They literally just don't know any better. But just like anything, you can figure out how to improve your conversation skills. The best way to do this is to practice in smaller settings first. For example, you can chit chat with whoever you shared the elevator with. You can make small talk with the driver the next time you take an Uber. You can strike up a conversation with the person sitting beside you during your commute. When you practice your conversation skills in easier settings first, you won't feel as pressured. Not to mention, when things don't go as expected, you'll be less likely to make a big deal out of it. The key here is to start where you're at and focus on making incremental improvements. Over time, this will help you gain lots of positive reference experiences. As a result, you'll feel more confident interacting with people during moments that really count. If you would like to know how to express yourself better verbally, then make sure you watch this next video. That's where I give you more tips on how to articulate yourself when speaking. By the end of it, you'll be able to convey your ideas more confidently, so make sure you check it out.